Oof da. Can you say oof da? Oof da. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I love you so very much, and I pray that you love others too. Anyways, today I'm going to share with you a story about a very hungry caterpillar. Look at that. He's the very hungry caterpillar. Does he have a red face? I think he does. And a green body. Let's look inside and see what the story is about. All right. Look at that page. Look at all these colors. Can you paint something like that? Look at all those colors. That's pretty cool. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. See, that's the author. Whoa, get it on the camera. There you go. Okay. In the light of the moon, a little leg lay on a leaf. Do you see the egg? It's that little tiny spot right there. See the moon? He's got a face, doesn't he? It looks like it's really dark outside. Yeah. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny, very little hungry caterpillar. You see the sun? Did it come up? Where is the little caterpillar? Is he right there? I think he's coming up. And he wants to see what everybody's looking at. He started to look for some food. What do you think he's going to find? Or oh, you got an apple, a pear, that looks like a plum, a strawberry, and an orange. Do you like pears? I see you eating pears a lot. I also like apples, my favorite. I love strawberries. And plums are very good too. And oranges, ooh, orange and chocolate. See, look at look inside this apple here. <gasps> there he goes, he ate through the he ate through the apple. Do you think he's gonna eat through the pear? Look, that says on Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still very hungry. <gasps> On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. <gasps> uh oh, what's he gonna eat through next? On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still very hungry. <gasps> What's he going to eat next? Oh boy, on Friday, he ate through five oranges. Five oranges. He ate through five oranges. So on Monday, he ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through, I think it was two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges. <gasps> That's a lot of food, isn't it? On Sunday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, and one piece of salami. Look at that. All that food, that was just on Sunday. He also ate one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. He wasn't feeling very well. No. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. He had too much sugar. Yeah, he's growing though, isn't he? Yeah. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. What do you think he turned into? Look how big he got. He grew. Are you growing? 
Do we like to eat a lot of fruit and vegetables? And sometimes, once in a great while, a nice surprise, some sweet. <gasps> what do you think this is? He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. <gasps> so a cocoon is when caterpillars wrap their bodies up so they can sleep and grow and they turn into something. Let's see what they turn into. <gasps> he turned into a beautiful butterfly. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. And that's the end. I like that butterfly though. Isn't that pretty cool? Take care. I love you. I'll hopefully talk to you and see you soon. Bye.